Hey, what's up, haters, potators, and invaders? It's time for Mark Rosewater's teaser for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I think I missed the Markov one, actually, but uh, whatever, that set flopped. So, um, at least financially, I don't know, because some people are saying it's kind of okay. For draft, I really don't like it. Overpowered Mythics and Rares took over because there's no synergy, but this one from the leaks we've seen, and if you haven't seen them, you know, go watch a video on my channel, look really, 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 really good for draft. I'm getting my hopes up. I probably shouldn't, but it's just the mechanics look really fun. So unfortunately, with all the information we have, it's going to kind of undercut this. So I wanted to kind of open with that, but uh, let's open with a couple things that you can expect. One, a new batch of five related creature types. Okay, I'm going to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, but I think I know what those are. But, you know, if you want to see the spoilers, go watch the spoilers. If you don't, then we're just going full teaser. Uh, number two, a card capable of returning three different card types from the graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's what we need. I mean, there's so much control. Sure, why not? Put some recursion in standard. At this point, it, you can't make it worse. Number three, a mechanic players have been asking us to do for many years gets made as the setting was a perfect place to finally do it. Is it horsemanship? <laughs> I feel like it's one of those uh, mechanics that looks really good for draft, but uh, I don't know. It could be any of them. I like all the mechanics so far, so I don't know. I'm, I'm actually excited about that, legit. Uh, number four, dual lands with a land subtype that has never been on dual lands before. Okay, I've seen them and I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Okay, okay, minor spoiler, it's desert. I just realized, wait a minute, if it's desert, it's not a mountain or an island or any that we now have like a six super type? Or, it's not called, a, there's a word for it. The lands are in their own category. Anyway, I don't think it's real relevant. We've probably seen more than just that, but the way it's printed on the line, that actually is interesting. Oh, okay, number whatever we're on, a new modal mechanic, which means uh, you choose one mode or another one or another one or whatever, that introduces something different to think about. That is about as vague as you can possibly get, but I've seen some modal spells so far leaked that looked pretty cool, so I think that's what he's talking about. I don't remember what the condition is, but okay. Um, next up, a card that can swap slash exchange control of up to three different card types. Well, usually if it's like creature for creature, then like land for land or something, or something crazy like that, it's a little too specific for like even standard constructed, let alone draft or sealed, but uh, it's still kind of funny. I mean, remember the cat gift card? Come on, where you give somebody a cat and it's totally not a trap? I mean, come on. So next up, a new creature token that has an ability no creature token has ever had before. I think I have a pretty good notion of what that is too, actually. Oh, it's not a token with ward. That was uh, last time around. They also are going to have a typal card, which is actually tribal, for skeletons and zombies. So probably like a lord card, but okay. I don't know why skeletons and zombies would be in a cowboy set, but sure. I don't think we've seen this yet. Oh, then he just goes and lists tokens in the set, colon, and he says some might have abilities. So so these aren't all vanilla, but 1-1 one, one white sheep, 1-1 one, one blue bird, where's my blue cow, 1-1 one, one black vampire rogue, 1-1 one, one red mercenary, oh yeah, the mercenaries, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of before, 2-1 uh, green varmint, 2-2 two, two white ox, 2-2 two, two white spirit, 2-2 two, two blue and black zombie, 3-1 uh, red dinosaur, because of course. 3-3 three, three, white angel, okay. 3-3 three, three, green elk. <sighs> yup. 4-4 four, four, red scorpion dragon. And XX green elemental. Oh, let's go. Star star blue ox. Also known as blue cow. Let's go. There's my blue cow. So many people have leaked this to me that it's basically been proof. One of the screen sets especially that one or more people has the entire design document. The whole thing. But, um, okay, it's not technically a blue ox. It's colored like the sky. So it's got, like, clouds on it. Like, like you know how cows are, are white with black spots, usually? This one will be blue like the sky, and then the spots are, like, white clouds, allegedly. So thanks to the, I think, dozen people at this point who have sent me varying screenshots of the page with the cow. I don't know where you got it, but I got my cow, damn it. I'm happy. I, I shouldn't even read the rest of this. It's irrelevant. We got the cow. What else do you need? But I guess I'll keep, you know, reading just for, for uh, morbid curiosity here. Uh, next up, he says, some of the planes with legendary villains in this set. Oh, we've already seen it. It's in the art. What kind of spoiler is this? We <laughs> okay, Dominaria, Aldrain, Fiora, Innistrad, Ixalan, Kaladesh, Kaldheim, Kamigawa, New Capenna, and Ravnica. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, Rakdos guys, Tiny Bones, uh, we got uh, everybody's favorite homunculus is in there. Oko, 
still hasn't found a plane with a store that sells shirts. So moving on, we've got some rules text that will be showing up on cards. We've got then repeat this process X more times, which uh, I think is basically like overload strive, that kind of thing. We kind of saw strive, but not literally the keyword strive, but the way it's spelled out, it exactly precisely is strive. So pay more, get more is gonna be like a, a kind of in the background invisible mechanic in the set. So I'm not surprised at that first one. Uh, next up, we've got, if it wasn't cast or no mana was spent to cast it, good. No free casting allowed, no resurrecting, none of that. You want this, you pay for it. The end, period. Every card should say that. Next up, plotting cards from your hand costs two less. I think we already know what plotting does it. I still don't remember, but okay. Uh, then we've got, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a countdown timer, I think. I remember it being kind of like suspend but different is it you can cast it for free later it's like a hideaway thing it's like you activate my trap card which I, I that also just sounds awesome at draft i'm hoarding coins in arena we're gonna play sealed we're gonna play draft i'm gonna hit this thing hard i don't care how much they rig it i'm gonna attempt to have fun now this one's interesting you can't cast this spell during your first second or third turns of the game Old school StarCraft NR5, let's go. I guess it would be NR3, but that is that is pretty funny. It makes me wonder about, like, because these sound like all power restrictions. Like, you can't free cast it, you can't do this, you can't do that. Yeah, probably going to be some bombs in the set, which is never good for, uh, for draft. Oh, God. So, another one is, that card gains flashback zero. I bet you return a card to hand from the stack. Or actually, I bet you return it from play to, like, save it, and then you can recast it later. So next up, we got target creature becomes a white rabbit with base power and toughness zero one. Yes, turn to frog, but turn to rabbit. Love it. One of the most underrated mechanics in the history of the game is just take one of their big boys and change it into a rabbit. Now, unfortunately, there's a period at the end of that and uh, just me just looking at it. Not all of the rest of them have a period. So that implies that that's the end of the statement when really it should say and loses all triggered and activated abilities or whatever. If it still has the abilities, I don't really care what size it is. I'm probably trying to get rid of something that has an ongoing trigger that I don't like. So I don't know if that's great, but whatever. Um, oh no, they have, when you win that flip, copy that spell. So coin flipping, the stupidest 100% luck, 0% skill and planning thing. Just hate it. Coin flipping needs to stay in unsets. Uh, nobody's a fan of that. It's, it's, and then we got the whole tails I win, heads you lose or whatever thing that took 13 months to come out. I think they just need to give up on that and bury it. So this better be in one of the commander sets or something. But I, I think all of these he said were from standard. I don't know. Not looking forward to that. So then we've got if a triggered ability of a legendary creature you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Yeah, that's just for Commander. Uh, next up, we got, you get that many additional upkeep steps after this phase. What? So upkeep, but not untap. Huh. I mean, during your upkeep, blah, is the only thing I, I know that happens during your upkeep. I don't know. I'm a little rusty on the rules. Anything that rearranges the phases and all that, I hate it. This is a lot less bad than having another uh, combat phase, but it's still annoying. Next up, Oxen, you control, have double strike, damn right, cow tribal, we're going, I'm building it, I don't care if it's competitive, I'm building it. And there is literally nothing on earth you can do to stop me. There's actually very little you can do to stop the Oxen either, because they have double strike. Alright, then we get the boring part, here are some creature type lines from the set. Armadillo, Shark Rogue, Plant Bard, <laughs> that's the cactus guy, um, Coyote, that's offensive. Not all Mexicans are coyotes. They don't all smuggle humans. Just an enormous amount of them. Didn't you guys hire a consult? And then, can't really say what happened after that, but it didn't go great from what I heard. Then we've got a uh, Hamarid mercenary, Rhino brawler. Well, that'd just be Capenna probably. Ox angel. Damn right we're gonna have angel cows. Let's freaking go. Cow tribal all day, every day. I'm drafting it. I'm sealing it. I'm building it in standard. I'm from Wisconsin. Anyway, porcupine mount. Oh yeah, there's mounts. They're kind of like uh, vehicles, except actually good. It's like a more modular dynamic version of bestow, which is one of the best mechanics ever made in the game. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm telling you this, that's going to rock it. Uh, we got core advisor. So K-O-R, you know, the, the white folks. The ones from Farscape, you know. Uh, Giant Scout. And then finally, here are some names in the set. Some card names, I guess. Claim Jumper, 
Forma Posse, Gold Rush. I'm looking for It's Raining Cows. I, I would I would just lose my shit right now. Uh, Great Train Heist. That sounds like it might be like a siege or like a like a plane in uh, plane chase or something. I don't know. We haven't seen anything like too new like that. Um, High Noon. Okay. Quick Draw. Uh, that one I believe we have seen. Reach for the Sky. Because there's angel cows coming down from it. Resilient Roadrunner. Shoot the Sheriff. But I didn't shoot the deputy. <laughs> God, these boomer references. And finally, this town ain't big enough. That better have the guy from Big Enough. That is the only universes beyond that 100% of people would find acceptable is the Screaming Cowboy from the Kieran Kellanen video. Of course, titled Big Enough. So then it just ends with uh, tune in to blah, 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 YouTube. I assume he means my YouTube channel. So Mark Rosewater personally wants you all to subscribe to mine. I totally didn't just misread the word official. Uh, and their Twitch channels, if you are 12, Nobody uses Twitch. Uh, I'm 326 to see Oko in the gang. Ooh, that's who I'm tuning in to see Oko. Yeah, so uh, spoilers starting. Six days. Is there anything that hasn't been leaked yet? <laughs> anyway, go go see my couple spoilers, leaks, and everything in between. Uh, I think there's like three of them at this point on my channel if you're interested. Otherwise, just wait till then. Subscribe if you want to see them because I'll cover them. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.